It looks like we're having a seance right now. <laughs> Not a seance. Important PSA, however. Don't walk on a treadmill in the middle of a storm. Not because of the risk of electrocution, especially if you don't have a surge protector. I was walking on it and the power went out and I just wiped out into my own desk. <laughs> I was in here reading and it's like a scary storm outside and I'm sitting here, I'm reading, well, enjoying really, my book. It's really not that scary. It's, it's right a wind now. storm. It's a wind storm, but it was worse today. I was reading and then all of a sudden the lights went out and you just heard the treadmill stop and Ty stumbling and I was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm glad I at least hold my desk, but I wasn't expecting it because usually when I turn the treadmill, off it slowly turns off apparently during a power outage it just stops <laughs> and what was worse was that the power was flickering at the start so the treadmill was turning on and starting again and turning off turning on <laughs> so i was trying to just like balance as best as i could until finally it turned itself off so now we're just kind of waiting we have a candle we don't have anything else i was hoping we'd have like battery powered lanterns i'm actually gonna get some well i'm pretty sure we have like little tiny ones but they're who knows where. And but we you should can't probably surf. get like ones that, you know, you can hold like this. Maybe the ones that you can like, it's like a jack box. You can crank them a little bit. Yeah. Or we just get like those old gas lanterns and just walk around with them. Like our old lanterns. Victorian person. I mean, they're really bright. With the plague. We're always sick. We, we have <laughs> yeah, so we kind of have the plague. But yeah, just walk around like that, you know exploring spooky catacombs and whatnot, but except it's just our house. I'm going to go on Amazon right now and I'm going to get like a lantern. You really should. It won't be delivered now but for next time yeah by the way welcome back to vlogs we have a power outage and it's like almost bedtime welcome back yeah because we're currently going through Tim Hortons. All of my Canadian people, it's the best place to be. But in the first time I think ever, they launched uh, pizza, which has been baffling people everywhere. Everyone on TikTok is like trying out the pizza because this is a coffee place, okay? You get bagels, coffee, cookies, like your typical like cafe style. And so it's so random for them to have launched pizza. So we just ordered some pepperoni pizza uh, after I had blood work and here we're gonna go. Got the goods. I got potato wedges. The only thing I can really have at Timmy's now. I'm realizing this is probably a really strange transition from power outage to pizza test. Just so you know, the power did come back on. <laughs> this is like a week later. Uh, we were all good. The power went on at like what, like two in the morning? And then and everything started. Everything lit out. up. All the alarms started going off. It was not a fun time. So let's take a look at this pizza. Ooh, looks good. It's supposed to be more of like a flatbread style and all I can smell right now is the pepperoni. It smells good. It's probably super hot though, so I'm gonna give it a second. Right, here we go. It's probably gonna be so hot. I don't wanna burn myself. That's not bad. How's it stacked up to your usual pizza places? Okay, obviously it's not Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's okay. I'd have to eat more to know, but right now it's looking at like a seven out of 10 for like a flatbread pizza. You know, it's not a real pizza, it's flatbread pizza, but it's not bad. How are your wedges? Are they today, nice and crisp? A, today's a good wedge day. It's good. It's a good wedge day. All right guys, I'm back home. And you know what? The more I thought about the pizza, like as I was eating it, I think the number dropped down. I think maybe now it's like a six out of 10. Anyway, we're doing an experiment right now. One that Ty doesn't really know anything about. <laughs> So, you're the experiment. I'm just looking at what looks to be a very pixelated <laughs> pink canvas texture. So, if you guys watched my main channel video, you know that this is a follow-up of that. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I want Ty to not really know and then I'll explain it more after. But it's basically just talking about how colors affect humans and just like the way that we are. So if this works, it's a little bit disturbing because it's crazy to think that color can have that much power over somebody. So I'm going to have Ty look at a pink screen and I'm going to have him do something and then I'm going to have him look at a blue screen and see like what the difference is and then I'll explain after. Uh, like what the experiment actually was. So here we are. I'm trying to get the camera to focus to show you're looking at pink because right now it just looks white. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna fix one thing right here. Really 
complete my calendar. There we go. Even though we're almost done April anyways. So stand up straight and look at the pink. Mm -hmm. And I want you to stare at it through everything that I'm telling you to do. All right. So stare at it and like, we'll count off from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, keep looking and put both your arms out in front of you. Like this? Yep, and stand back, probably stand off the treadmill. Yeah, right there. Okay, You're just gonna looking. get me to wipe out, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just gonna slap you. <laughs> I prefer you didn't. Okay, so keep looking at the pink. Mm -hmm. Ready? I need to use my good hand. I just had blood work. Okay. It looks like I'm getting ready to like do like a dive <laughs> or something. Okay. Oh, that hurts the eyes. Come up to the blue again. Okay, now you're gonna stare at the blue. You can put your arms down and just look at it for a little while. Mm -hmm. How does that hurt your eyes? Just blue is very intense. If you've done any study in like the science of color, blue and purple is often the strongest color that you can see. Right. Red being the weakest. Okay, so we're gonna count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, step off, keep looking at it, put your arms out in front of you. Interesting. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna tell you about the experiment. You can put your arms down. I have a feeling it's based on the tensity of the muscles if I'm fighting back, looking at different colors, right? Actually, kind of. So apparently when you look at pink, your body should be more easy moving. You're less tense, easily movable. That's why they have pink in prisons because it makes people less aggressive, more calm. And when you look at blue, it's the opposite. You're a bit more tense. It's harder to move your arms. You're a bit more aggravated. It's not because of the fact that it hurts my eyes a little bit. I don't know. Could be. <laughs> so now that you know that pink is supposed to make you put your arms down easier, I want you to actually try to hold your arms up okay, uh, while looking at pink. Okay. So we're gonna put it back at pink. And just now that you know, I'm curious to see, like now use your full strength and I'm gonna push against you. Okay. Don't lift it, just keep it straight. Yep. <laughs> okay, other one. You're pushing up, just don't, just keep it straight. <laughs> you just I'm fling flat. backwards. Yeah, you're telling me to use my full strength here. Okay, but... so I did get some movement. Let's try the blue. Oh, that's oh. harder to do. I just don't think you're trying as hard. <laughs> okay, I mean, it looked like the blue made it harder to put your arm down. Is that the case? Now, I want to know from you, did you feel any difference in no. your body and your strength looking no. at two colors? I honestly didn't. It's just other than the fact that my eyes hurt when I look at blue. <laughs> like, even just looking at the sky outside, I cannot do that. Fun little tidbit about me, I cannot look up at the sky. Well, most people shouldn't. It hurts. It hurts a lot for yeah. me. I can't go outside at all. Even looking out the window right now, I feel like I need sunglasses. And I see floaters. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That just is probably because there's something horribly wrong with us. So. Probably, we are chronically ill. Yes. Okay, so in my opinion, I think the experiment maybe slightly worked. I saw a slight difference, nothing like crazy that would make me say like, oh, pink prisons are definitely effective. I don't know. I think we need to have further studies. We're just in our office here putting our arms up in front of us, okay? There's We're not like scientists. A lot more in-depth stuff. Yes. Unfortunately for you, Jess, guess what I learned in school? Prison stuff? Yeah, definitely prison stuff. <laughs> we studied the effect of color on behavior. Okay, so we you did. kind of know. Yes, yellow often makes people feel a little bit happier and for people who go to casinos, you'll notice the color red is very prominent because it tends to make people a little more passionate yeah. and also loosens up their uh, you know, morality a little bit. So you're more likely to bet a little bit more, a little excited. Anyways, if you want to try it on your brother, your dad, your boyfriend, let us know down below how it is. Specifically only males. Yeah, just male. Just, well, just males and only works on guys. Yeah, they they were doing this in male prisons, but I mean, who knows? Well, it could, could be, be any gender. Another fun fact: women can actually see more colors than men can. That so. is true. That is That's true. That's very true. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this experiment, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See you guys.